When I first started tying, I got addicted to rabbit zonkers. I learned right away that rabbit zonker streamers are extremely effective fish catchers, so I got hyper fixated on them, but somewhere along the lines I thought to myself, you know, I should probably start tying with some feathers. So today I'm going to be showing you the first streamer pattern that I learned which didn't incorporate rabbit zonkers. It is a very simple marabou streamer pattern that can be tied in an endless number of color combinations and in a variety of sizes. And I had a chance to fish this pattern a lot this year and lo and behold, feathers also catch fish. We're gonna tie a fun one today with some natural colors, but also with some bright fire tiger accents. And I'm going to be leaving links to all of the materials and tools used today in the description of the video. Now let's get started. Today we're tying on a Kona size four nymph streamer 3XL hook, but really any 3XL or 4XL streamer hook will be good for this pattern. My thread is an eight aught or 72 denier uni thread in olive color. And the color of the thread will be the color of your head. So whatever color you want your head to be, just use that color. To get started, I'm just going to lay down a base layer of thread from the eye down to the hook's bend. Next, we are going to tie in the tail, and for that, I'm going to be using this chartreuse saddle hackle feather. And we're just going to be using a tuft of these barbs to create a very small tail. So what I'm going to do is just preen out some of these bars here at the bottom, and I'm going to pinch those with my non-bobbin hand about halfway up the barbs. You don't want to grab it all the way at the base, but about halfway up the barbs, and then we're just going to strip that from the stem. After removing the barbs, I'm just going to give them a snip with my scissors just to shorten it up to the desired length as well as even up those ends. And now we're going to tie this in right where we stopped our thread to form a short tail. As you can see, our tail is very short here. It only extends about a half inch at the maximum beyond the bend of the hook, and that's exactly what we want. Just a little pop of color there. Next, we wanna move our thread up just about a quarter inch behind that eye. And now we are going to tie in some flat tinsel or flash to wrap around our hook shank. And for that, I'm going to be using this MFC hollow sheen in chartreuse. And this is more like the green chartreuse, whereas our saddle hackle was that yellow chartreuse. And this particular stuff has a holographic effect that is orange and green, so it pairs really well with those fire tiger patterns. So I'm just going to take a single strand of this hollow sheen and tie it in all the way down to the tail and then wrap it back up the hook shank and tie it off. And we're going to tie this off just about a quarter inch behind the eye. After tying that off, I'm then going to move my thread up to the eye and get it out of the way. And now I'm going to coat that wrapped tinsel with some Solo Res Bone Dry Thin Hard Formula UV Resin. And this will basically ensure that this wrapped tinsel never comes undone. All right, next we are going to tie in another tuft of saddle hackle as an accent, and we're going to tie it in at the throat of our pattern. And for my throat accent, I'm going to be using this orange saddle hackle feather. And you might notice right away that this feather is 90% unusable fluff. This is an absolute piece of garbage Hobby Lobby feather. But when I'm tying in tiny accents like this one here, I try and use my worst feathers whenever possible. And even though 90% of this feather is fluffy, unusable, garbage, the tip will give us exactly what we need. So as you'll see here, if I use the tip of this feather, I can create a tuft that looks about exactly like that first accent we tied in at the tail. So what I'll do now is bring my throat feather up underneath the hook shank and I'm going to pinch that here in place. And before I tie it in, I'm going to bring my scissors out and I'm going to trim away this excess. And now I'm just going to capture these barbs with a pinch wrap and tie them in. Yeah. 
And now right in front of that throat accent, we are going to tie in our marabou. And for that, I'm going to be using this MFC Mini Barred Marabou in Olive Black Barred. And with this marabou feather, I'm going to measure out and tie in a wing that lines up flush with the end of that saddle hackle on the tail. And once that main marabou wing is tied in, I'm going to build up the head a bit with some thread just to create some additional surface area because we're going to be gluing on some eyes. And after building up that head just a little bit to the desired size, I'm going to go ahead and perform a four turn whip finish. And now it's time to glue on the eyes, and for that I'm going to be using some 4mm 3D eyes and my Gorilla Glue Micro Precise Super Glue applicator. And with those eyes glued into position, we are now just going to let that dry. All right, now that the glue has dried, I'm going to fill the gaps between the eyes on both the top and the bottom with some Solares Flex Formula UV Resin. And on each side, I'm just going to do one healthy drop, just enough of that resin to fill that gap completely. And now using my bodkin tool, I'm just going to even out that resin and make sure it fills the gap completely. Now I'm just going to rotate my fly a few times just to assist that resin in leveling out. And to finish up, I'm going to hit both sides with my high power Solares UV torch just to cure that resin. And here we have it guys, the finished product. Just a simple marabou streamer pattern and I call this one the fire fry. The name is just a little play on words. We have this little bright chartreuse tail in the back, kind of like a firefly, and it has those fire tiger accents going on, and it's a baby fish, which is a fry. But this is just a really effective, simple pattern that a beginner can tie, and it was designed to catch fish in stained and clear water, and it does. And that's gonna do it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it, and I hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next one.